Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Kristen Fry and today we're at Whippy Oshawa Honda with this gorgeous 2013 Range Rover Evoque. Sitting before us in the Fiji white exterior, you can expect the Xenon HID headlamps and of course fog lights will be standard on this trim level. Check out that grill. Speaking of hood, under the hood, you get a burly 2.0 four-cylinder engine that's going to give you around 240 horsepower and 250 foot-pounds of torque. Check out that styling. I love that we have uh, mirror side indicators. So when you're signaling, you'll be able to see that on the upper mirror there. There's some beautiful molding towards the bottom. And of course, we can't forget about the rims. You're going to be riding across these beautiful 19-inch rims. They're in great condition, guys. They're aluminum alloy. And of course, that will be paired with a 19-inch tire. There's still some tread left for you to go. Always recommend switching to winter tires, of course. Awesome. Well, let's hop on in and check out the interior. And of course, helping you into your brand new Range Rover is a smart entry with push to start. Fob is complete with lock, unlock, tailgate release, panic mode, and even a light option. So you can turn on those headlamps. So let's open on up and check out the rest of the interior. Fantastic, look at that door. I love the chrome door sills right along the bottom, guys. That makes it super easy getting in and out. You don't have to worry about scratching your lovely interior. Three position driver memory seating, full power amenities, doors, windows, locks, and mirrors. You do have the upgraded speaker system. And check out that mirror. There is park assist, which we'll get to in a moment. Taking a peek at the interior, it is leather interior all around. I love the stitching and the detail. Adjustable headrests, of course. Just a very, very luxurious feel, and the seats hug you like no other. Power seats, of course, and all season mats all around. And just coming up, we do have our tailgate release and uh, lighting controls. Awesome. Let's hop in and turn this beautiful SUV on so you can see all of the rest of the features, including our dash. So we're going to go ahead and turn over the engine. Fantastic. So there's just about 48,000 kilometers, tons of room to go, guys. So starting with our left-hand side, that's where you'll find your speedometer. In the middle is tons of cool information, which we'll go over in a moment. And then to our right, we have our RPM gauge. So guys, if we just pan out, this section of the steering wheel will actually control that upper part of the dash panel. So if you simply hit OK, it allows you to scroll through to see what warnings you want. Um, now I've brought up our menu, so you could actually scroll down and go into the settings. So if you want to change your display settings, you could do that. Or if you want to change your trip computer vehicle setup, you can go ahead and do that. So I'll let you customize the vehicle once you park it in your driveway. But panning back out, guys, to the rest of the steering wheel, over on this side, we do have our audio and Bluetooth options. So just down below here, guys, is your Bluetooth where you would answer, hang up, or make your voice commands. And then this section here, when you hit the mode, it actually changes the mode. So you could see it up top there, or just over on our screen there, that it's changing my audio mode. Super cool. And then these two buttons toggle volume up and down. To our left hand side, well, we simply have those controls for the instrument panel and then our cruise control. Now, one thing that's up top, guys, paddle shifters, and hidden behind our Bluetooth is a heated steering wheel knob. Of course, there's tilt and telescoping steering with this, so don't be afraid to make those adjustments as needed. Awesome. Now, coming over to our panel over here, tons of cool stuff to go over. Uh, it is touch screen. You can utilize the menus on either the left or the right side, or you can simply go ahead and hit the touch screen. So what we'll do is we'll go through the left menu first. So that brings us home. So what this does guys is allow you to see what audio you're listening to, your phone connection. And once you have your phone connected, then these other two grayed out options will populate. Okay, so if we wanna set up, we just hit set up and it's giving us options. What do we want to set up? Well, maybe we want to edit our auto. So this will, our audio, pardon me. So this will allow us to change the bass, the treble. To go back, you simply go back. If we want to adjust our screen, then we hit screen. Go back and adjust our system. So that's pretty much where you're going to go if you want to make any customizations. Audio, when you go to audio settings, again, it's going to bring you back there. 
and then extra features will bring you to the extra features. So this is actually pretty unique. You can change the ambient lighting. So right now I, it's not really easy to show you because it's day, but as it goes from dawn till dusk, you'll be able to see the light come through. So you can choose if you want it on or off and what colors. So the customize op customization options in this Range Rover are truly endless. Now coming back over to the menu, when we hit this button, what it does is it actually turns on our park assist. Now we're not parking, we're already parked, so I'm gonna continue on. These are our parking sensors, and then this simply just turns on and off the display. And coming over to our right hand side, we have mode, so that will change when you're in audio, if you wanna change from AM, FM, and this will also bring it up uh, to video, as well as you have the XM. So guys, to make sure you're taking advantage of that three month subscription, so you're getting the three months of Sirius, if you wanted continue that subscription just give them a call they even give you the number and your ID so, let's bring us back to audio and phone no phones connected again I'll let you take care of that when you come take us out for spin so dropping right below that menu we have our climate control so super easy to use guys you just simply turn it on uh, if you want your heated seats on push three two one or off uh, we've got automated climate control, air conditioning, defrost as well. You can select if it's cycling through or coming in. We've got front uh, rear defrost as I just mentioned, and then you can change the airflow. It's just depending on how you are comfortable. So right now we have it in dual climate control, but of course you can always uh, put it on the automated if you are driving alone. Coming down, we have, this is actually gonna indicate that you're on a slant. So see that green button up there? There we go, now it's back to normal. We've got our traction control over here and our electronic parking gear right there. And down below, this is our knob. So really, really cool guys, if you wanna shift from park into reverse, neutral, drive, or sport mode, you simply put your foot on the brake and then you're gonna turn this. So let's go into reverse and check out that beautiful looking camera. Now make sure you always check your surroundings, of course and then keep your foot on the brake and turn it back to park. Awesome. Opening up this cubby, we've got cup holders and outlets, some storage, and then we have an additional cubby, guys, with even more storage. So that's where you'll find the connectivity for your USB as well as your iPod connectivity. And I love the little area for a pen. I always carry pens. Back over passenger. And if we open up this glove compartment, tons of room down there as well. Awesome. Let's go hop in the back seat and see what second row seating looks like. Look at all of that room you have to hop up and get in. I love the little pocket and the two speakers on the back door, especially if you love music like myself, that'll be very enjoyable along the ride. Auto up down window control and speaking of windows, they come all the way down. So no illusion, no magic. Look at this airflow. Magnificent. Popping into the interior, we've got mesh pockets behind driver and passenger. You can put your stuff in, but you'll never lose it. Storage, air vents, some more speakers, adjustable headrests, of course. And you can always pull this down to reveal cup holders. And this is perfect for playing cards or if you're doing business stuff, got a tablet, phone, notepad you want to keep at bay. Fantastic. Do you have latching capabilities as well right there for you? Before we go take a uh, look at the tailgate, just want to show you that you can actually push, push this down to gain access to the cargo room. Awesome. Let's go look at that tailgate. Utilizing our tailgate release. Magic. Works every time. <laughs> All right. So let's check out this wonderful back end. So we've got a couple of volts here. The cargo cover that's uh, attached, so it automatically just comes up. You can always take that off, leave it in the garage, mud room in case you need more area. Tie downs, and we can just go ahead and open this to reveal the trunk. It's a very, very nice cargo area. You know, Range Rover really goes above and beyond putting all of the extra details in, guys. Such as, look, we have a handle on the left and a handle on the right. I'm going to be lazy and use automated, though. Beautiful looking vehicle. Spoiler looks great as well. Awesome. Well, let's just pop back in so you can see the rest of the interior. So that's what it would look like with one seat down. Over to our passenger side. 
Well, thanks again, guys, for tuning in to another great video done by Whitby Oshawahonda. I hope you really enjoyed this Range Rover and see how much this vehicle is going to benefit you, your family, or maybe even your corporation. Give us a call, click, or drop on in the showroom to take this one out for a spin before it's gone. Thanks again and have a happy Honda day.